Wow. <clears throat> I'm extremely late, guys. I'm totally sorry uh, I had to stuff my face real quick. But uh, hey, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to make money using credit cards or how to make passive income. A lot of people don't think of using credit cards can make you passive income when that's exactly what can and will happen. At least that's been my experience. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video, how to make money using credit cards or how to make passive income using credit cards. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Dwayne and on this channel I talk about credit, credit cards and how to make money using credit cards. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, so right before I started doing this live stream, I was stuffing my face with some food. Um, it was really sketchy. I was really gonna absolutely be on time, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out. So I apologize to you guys that were kind of waiting at seven o'clock. Um, thank you guys for waiting on me and more importantly thanks for hitting the thumbs up in this video because it helps tremendously so I started thinking about like what do I want to talk about in tonight's live stream and so I was thinking okay I've made quite a bit of money from credit cards and my credit card journey started back in 2016 as far as uh, not 2016 2014 as far as making money was concerned that's when I got my first cashback credit card, which at the time was the Quicksilver card from Capital One. I still have that credit card today. Uh, actually, I have uh, the picture in the thumbnail that you guys saw. There is uh, about 19 cards. So I have my Capital One Quicksilver card right here. Uh, just to kind of show you guys, I still have it. I mean, this card is really, really old. I think it's um, from 2014, uh, which is not my oldest card. My oldest card is from 2013. But either way, I wanted to make a video talking about the fact that literally, if somebody would have told me back in 2014, hey, you can make some passive income using your credit card. Now, I get it, myself included, didn't necessarily think about credit cards as a way to make money. But credit cards are absolutely uh, a decent way for you to make some extra money. Now, some of us are more fortunate than others, myself being one of the more fortunate ones. So in this video, I wanna talk briefly about um, the four different ways you can use credit cards to make money or passive income. Uh, and then of course, I'll get into the live aspect of this live stream where I'll say what's up to you guys in the chat. So um, if you're watching this on the replay, be sure to smash the thumbs up in this video. It helped tremendously and I need all the help I can get growing this community and this channel, How to Build Credit TV. All right, so when it comes to credit cards, um, there are basically, a lot of people know of three ways. There's, there's basically three to four ways that you can make a substantial amount of money using credit cards. And I wanted to kind of sh shine some light on this. Um, and not like, I'm not gonna, I'm not a, a hype person when it comes to like talking about something and like how incredible it is that you're gonna make so much money using credit cards. I'm not that guy. But at the same time, um, as I was thinking about the fact that I've made a substantial amount of money using my credit cards, I thought, you know, it's it's very likely, it's very possible for you to make passive income. Now, I have videos here on YouTube that I made back in 2018 where I talked about making over $1,700 using one credit card, and that was the Discover It card at the time. It was actually the Discover It Secure card at the time. So my first experience with making money from credit cards was back in 2014 with my Capital One Quicksilver card. I think I let the cash back accumulate to about uh, maybe 105 bucks. I remember that number for some reason off the top of my head. Uh, Giovanni, thank you so much for that $5 super chat, sir. I really appreciate you, man. Um, so I remember getting like $105 worth of cash back on my Capital One Quicksilver card because I just continued to use my card and I was earning 1.5% cash back. Not a lot, but I continued to use the card. And so once again, a lot of us don't think of credit cards as allowing you or giving the giving you the ability to earn passive income but even though it was just hundred and five dollars um, that's more than I would earn using my debit card or using a card a credit card that doesn't give me cash back right so I wanted to make sure I signed some light on that so the first way you can make money or passive income using a credit card is to get the sign up bonuses now if you're watching this video and you don't know what sign up bonuses are basically sign up bonuses are where you sign up for a credit card because you like the card but there's also an introductory offer where if you spend one thousand dollars we'll give you uh five hundred dollars back in cash 
five, that's not a good example. $1,000 and we'll give you maybe $200 back in cash. Or if you spend $500, we'll give you $150 back in cash. So sign up bonuses is definitely a way that you can make passive income or you can make money using credit cards. Now back in 2018, I applied for, um, I wanna say from August 2018, I probably applied for about at least excuse me, at least five credit cards and there were sign up bonuses for those credit cards. So I know I did a video talking about the fact that I made uh, like $700 from sign up bonuses from the credit cards that I used. And those credit cards at the time was the Blue Cash Everyday card from American Express. It had a sign up bonus of, I wanna say 200 bucks after spending $1,000. I don't remember, but I do have a video on my channel. The next card was the US Bank Cash Plus, that had a $150 sign-up bonus after spending $500. Um, I got another, I think it is either $100 or $150 from the City Double Cash card from Citibank. Um, and then I got $200 from the Bank of America Cash Rewards card. So I think that was pretty much the sign-up bonuses. Uh, maybe there's one that I'm missing, but I was able to earn $700, $700 extra dollars. Now, I know I said the fact that this is this could be passive income. It could totally be passive income if you apply for several several credit cards. Now I'm not going to tell you guys, you know, apply for 10 credit cards a year. That's ridiculous. I mean, there's no reason to do that, but you can certainly make extra money and that's just off of the sign up bonus. So that's one way that you can make credit card, you can make money from a credit card, the sign up bonus. So the sign up bonus basically works where you spend a certain amount of money for the first 90 days, right? Like maybe you have to spend $3,000 in order to get a certain amount of points or cash back. So you have cash back credit cards and you have cards where you earn points and you can take those points and redeem it towards travel. You can take those points and redeem them for cash back if you want. Um, I made a video talking about that last week where I was showing that I deposited $1,300 worth of cash back into my Navy Federal credit card, my Navy Federal checking account. So that's a really, really cool way. The next way that you can make uh, money using credit cards is by using the credit cards. So just using the cards on your everyday purchases, you're either going to be able to get cash back or you're gonna be able to get points. Once again, you can take the cash back and points and redeem it however you'd like. There are several credit card companies that allow you the ability to redeem the cash back directly into your checking account if you so choose, or you can use the cash back or points that you've earned and redeem it towards a statement credit, which is pretty, that's pretty cool because basically what you're, what you're doing is your, well, what I do is when I redeem it as a statement credit, right, I end up using my credit card anyway. So let's say I earn $500 cash back. I use my credit card for, you know, however many purchases I, it takes to spend the $500. And then I just use the credit card, the cash back that I've gotten with the card as a statement credit, right? So I just use it as a statement credit, which is real money. So I think it's really good. Um, it's pretty amazing to me that uh, for whatever reason, people just haven't gotten on the credit card bandwagon yet in a good way, right? Of course, there are people using credit cards and they're not using them properly or responsibly because life happens and you have to, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you don't have cash and you have a credit card, I get it, you're gonna put it on the credit card because how would you make it otherwise? Uh, once you're not in that position though, there's no reasons not to use the credit card responsibly. And so, uh, like I said, you're able to earn a substantial amount of money, whether it's cash back or points using your credit cards. We have several credit cards that offer anywhere between 1% cash back, which is not a lot, or one times points, all the way up to like 10 times points. So of course you gotta do research. There's a bunch of different cards out there that offers you the ability to earn cash back anywhere from, like I said, 1% or points, from 1% all the way up to 10%. So uh, I think it's worth it though. I think it's worth uh, using the card, using doing the research about those cards. Because for me, when I earn a lot of membership reward points with American Express, I have a lot of membership reward points with American Express, I can take those membership reward points and spend them however I choose. Now, I choose to normally spend them buying airline tickets. Of course, you can spend them a lot of different ways. You can buy gift cards, you can even waste them on Amazon. You can use your MR points and pay for purchases on Amazon, which is not, that's not gonna be a good value, but they're your points and you can spend them however you'd like. So you're able to earn a substantial amount if you just continuously use your credit cards. Now, a lot of people, when it comes to credit cards, a lot of people get, um, 
they get excited I mean myself included at one point you get excited and you start to get multiple cards once you're in a position where you can get multiple cards you want to get as many different cards as possible just because you like getting cards you like being approved it feels really really good now when you do that you kind of set yourself out to be spread thinly across your credit cards and you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck when you focus most of your purchases on one or two credit cards now if you're a nerd like me and you have 19 cards which totally is a lot of cards and let's say you want to use this this specific card because you're gonna get four times points or four percent back when you dine out or whatever um, or you're gonna get three times points on gas so I'm gonna use this card now if you want to nerd it out like me uh, that's cool but at the same time it's a lot easier and quicker for you to grow your cash back or your points if you're focusing it all on one card so when you're first getting started in this whole cash back points game it makes a lot of sense to not really get more than two cards because then you have to split your attention between the two cards right uh, it would be a lot easier for you just to focus on that one card and just max it out not max out the card but max out the earning potential of how you use your card and you pay it off now I didn't really state this in the beginning of the video but I use my credit responsibly um, I always use my credit card because I have the money already in my checking account to pay my bill and then when I'm really OCD I will pay my bill once a week maybe even twice a week uh, depending on when I use the cards right so I always pay my credit cards off in full every single time um, so the next way that you can make money with credit cards is by using credit card referrals right so once again I understand I'm more lucky than most I have a platform which is YouTube and I can say hey be sure to use the referral link below this video which there are no referral links below this video um, but I can say that and if people go and use that referral link uh, yes they'll get a good sign up offer from that particular uh, referral link and also that's a way for them to support me as well so I'll get you know maybe fifty dollars or maybe I'll get twenty thousand points from American Express or fifteen thousand points which is kind of equivalent to like hundred and fifty dollars but but not really so that's another way that you can earn money or passive income using credit cards now I understand the average person doesn't have this huge platform but if you know someone that is going to be approved for a credit card you can say to them hey I really love this discover card or hey I really love this American Express card if you're interested in it go ahead and use my referral link especially with discover card because they'll get a fifty dollar statement credit once they make their first purchase and then you get a fifty dollar statement credit so um, there's a lot of ways you can earn money with the credit card referrals um, I know that discover card allows me 10 referrals per discover card so I have two discover cards so they allow me 10 referrals per discover card so I get fifty dollars you get fifty dollars if you're approved and so fifty times ten is five hundred dollars and I have two cards so I can make a thousand dollars from those two credit cards that I have by using my referral and telling people to consider signing up through my referral uh, the next way that you can make money or um, earn money or whatever uh, using credit cards is you could kind of leverage your credit card now if I have a credit card and there's a no APR for the first 12 to 15 months I could find a way to pay myself whether it's by buying gift cards or using some kind of payment processor and basically you can pay yourself or loan yourself money from your credit card so I have a couple of credit cards with $25,000 credit limit let's say I wanted to borrow $10,000 I can somehow find a way to get myself $10,000 by using that particular credit card right and even in using the card I'm gonna get the points or the cash back whatever that however that's card that card is set up I'm gonna get that points or cash back for making that ten dollar ten thousand dollar transactions uh, by the way guys please hit the thumbs up in this video we have hundred and five people in the live stream and we only have 45 thumbs up please 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 smash the thumbs up in this video um, so yeah I could make the purchase where I would be accessing the ten thousand dollars and of course not by using cash advance that's ridiculous uh, but I'll access the ten thousand dollars which is like loaning myself ten thousand dollars and then if I have no interest or APR for the first 12 to 15 months that's like getting a loan 
where I can make payments, but I don't have to pay interest on that loan for the first 12 to 15 months. So that's actually a really, really good way of using credit cards or leveraging credit cards to make money. Now, you have to be totally in control and totally in the know. Now, that's a very risky way, but there are a lot of people that use credit to kind of tie them over uh, if they're running their business because they don't have the, the cash necessarily, you know, especially when you're starting a business up, let's say you really believe in your business, you may choose to spend, you know, five thousand dollars in, 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 you know, getting stuff so that you can get your business off the ground and uh, the credit card will come in handy. You'll get your points or your cash back uh, and then you also get the time where you can make the payment back for that loan and not have to worry about paying interest. So credit cards are really, really powerful. And like I stated in the beginning, I never really thought like, hmm, I can make passive income from my credit cards. So that's why I decided to do this video on this live stream. I'm insanely curious of what you guys' experience have been using your credit cards, whether it's earning a substantial amount of points or cash back. Let me know in the comment section how much cash back or points you've been able to accumulate. Now, when I sit back and try to think about how much money that I've made from credit cards. If I think about maybe, let's say 20, 2018, uh, and I'm saying 2018 because that's when I started this YouTube channel. So in 2018, like I said, I made over $1,700 with my Discover card. That's one card, okay? Um, and then also in 2018, I made the like over $700 on four, four or five other cards, right? So already I made over $2,000 using those the credit cards right and then of course I had referrals so just the loan in 2018 easily I probably made anywhere from three to five thousand extra dollars using credit cards so that's why I was like you know it it could be passive income and I don't know about you but for me an extra three to five thousand dollars whether it that's in a year uh, a two years that's still extra money you know what i mean like you think about it we just had the stimulus check which was twelve hundred dollars so if i made if i'm able to make three to five thousand dollars extra from using credit cards or getting sign up bonuses or uh, getting referrals then that's that's like my own little stimulus times two times three you know what i mean so anyway i just wanted to shine some light on that because i i don't know that a lot of people um think about credit cards that way and the fact that they're insanely powerful you can make passive income with your credit card as far as i'm concerned um earning cash back or points alone you're already ahead of the race the fact that you guys are on this channel you guys are clearly more educated or open-minded than the average joe and i commend you guys for doing that because i think it's a win-win i mean I cannot tell you how upset I get when I have to use my debit card for something. Let's say I'm getting a money order. I got to use my debit card. Um, let's say I have to get cash for something. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, I, I never want to get cash. I always want to use my credit card. There hasn't been a lot of times since 2018 where I've held physical cash in my hand. There's probably been, since 2018, there's probably been the most three times that I've held cash in my hand. So, Anyway, uh, let me jump into the comments here and see what you guys are up to. Uh, I thank you guys so much for being patient and, and uh, coming back to the live stream, even though I started very, very late. Hey, like I said, guys, be sure to smash the thumbs up. We definitely need at least 100 thumbs up in this video just because, um, you know, it's still my birthday month. So last Wednesday was my birthday. I turned 42, uh, for which I'm insanely grateful. Uh, today I walked six miles because I still got to get, I got to be 40 and fine instead of 40 and fluffy right now i'm kind of fluffy but um i always talk about my weight because weight for me is directly connected to my health and i need my weight to be lower so my health can be better so that's kind of why i always talk about it but let me go ahead and jump into the live stream here and see what you guys are up to Devin, what's going on man thanks for stopping by it says hope you're doing well and you had a nice birthday with your kids um believe it or not Devin, i didn't even see my kids on my birthday bro um it was a very rainy day, especially the beginning of the day um, on my birthday. And I just didn't really make a big effort to see them because we weren't going to go eat at a restaurant anyway. So I was like, you know, I'll make some plans to take them to the beach one, one day during the week. Of course, I want to go to the beach during the week because I don't really like crowds like that. 
Um, and then, of course, the whole Corona thing as well, right? So I'm not trying to go to the beach and there be a lot of people there. there there's not really a lot of people where I go to the beach, uh, which is kind of funny. I'm talking about it like I go to the beach a lot. Your boy does not go to the beach, <laughs> okay? But I wanted to take my kids to the beach around like 7, uh, right before the sunset. It's not that hot, and then it's just kind of cool to be out there at that particular time. So I'll be doing that at, at some uh, at some point in the future. What's going on, Cinema Madness? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, dude, I didn't even do. He says, Dwayne, Dwayne is back. I didn't even do it. I didn't even say, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV, and I am back again for a Monday night live stream. I didn't even do it, man. That's crazy. I'm slipping. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you stopping by. Miss Gatlin, thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to have you in the house. Diamond says, hello, Dwayne and everyone. Been looking forward to this since Friday. Wow, Diamond, okay. My heart, Friday, that's so sweet. That's awesome. Thanks for stopping by, Diamond. It's a pleasure to have you. Ronald, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. I guess you're uh, I guess you're saying your secured card graduated from Navy Federal, and if that's the case, congratulations, man. That's awesome. Tyree, what's going on, my man? G. Dobbs, thanks for stopping by. Says, hello, gorgeous. Nice to see you again in that beautiful smile. Yes, Miss, Miss Dobbs, I appreciate you stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here, as always. Francisco, what's going on, sir? Says, how's it going, Dwayne? Hope all is well. I'm doing great. Um, today, the stock market was a little bit better, um, but I am still very, very, very much in the hole. Um, in regards to the stock market, I really want to do it properly, and I have come to the realization that it would make a lot more sense for me to get education on the stock market and like really study up on it. So um, while I'm not trying to you know, sell my shares right now and take a big L because it would be a huge L if I sold right now. In the future, I want to be educated so I could do stocks, uh, maybe not necessarily on the daily, but at least three to four times out of the five days that the stock market is open, which is pretty much daily. Um, what's going on, Ricky G? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, sir. Ronald Matter says, thumbs up this video. Yes, sir. I appreciate that, my man. Dave Sincere, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, let's see. Nicholas, how you doing, sir? Thanks for stopping by. And Nicholas says, is Dwayne live? I can't see the video. Yeah, I got started late on the video. Um, I was set up. Everything was ready to go. One of the things that made me late was I was making the thumbnail, and then I stuffed my face just real quickly before the video, which is just always a bad idea, but I did it. Um, I guess those six miles I did earlier was kind of weighing on me a little bit. Wow, we have 115 people in the live stream. Guys, be sure to smash the thumbs up in this video. We need at least 100 thumbs up because we have at least 100 people watching. Be sure if you have questions to ask. This is the place to get your questions answered in regards to credit, credit cards and how to make money using credit cards. Please let me know how much cash back or points you've accumulated uh, using credit cards and how uh, valuable that's been for you. Let me know in the comment section, please. Life with, Life with Monique, thanks for stopping by the stream. Jay Chavez says, uh, what up, Dwayne? I'm looking for that Chase Sapphire Preferred. They added five times bonus categories uh, from July to September. Okay, sweet, sweet. I didn't even know that. That is cool. So that's clearly a new perk with the Chase Sapphire. That is awesome. They're, that's a very, very smart move for them. Um, I really like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, actually. I like it more than the Reserve, to be honest with you. But I think that's incredible. That's a very, very smart move that they did. Jordan 23WW, thanks for stopping by the stream, sir. Uh, I am having a wonderful day. Skoski, I hope I said that right, says back again. Question, I have four inquiries within 24 months. My last inquiry was six months ago. Should I wait another year or should I be good for another inquiry? Uh, if I were you, sir, I would wait. Um, guys, You, it's, it's so imperative for us to wait and make sure that like when we apply for stuff if you can have if you can help it have no inquiries um so like yes it's gonna take time right but you're gonna set yourself up to have a wonderful experience if you're able to be patient and wait till you have no inquiries one let's say one right but if you can wait till you have zero right and then apply for a couple of credit cards you know maybe two three um, you're going to be surprised the experience that you're going to have applying for those cards and you're also going to be surprised about the credit limit that you'll get when you apply for a card with no inquiries. 
one of the things that I want to make sure I tell you is um, during that time that you're waiting for the inquiries to fall off, man, do your research. Eyeball credit cards that you want. You know what I mean? Like, I want this card. I want this card. And, you know, like, look at the sign up offers so that when the time comes for you to actually apply for that card, you know you're getting a good sign up offer. Um, and you know that your chances are going to be a lot higher to get that card. Now, if I were you, and let's say you were patient and you waited, and now you have no inquiries, right? So, this was me back in 2018. I applied for the cards that I wanted the most first. So back in 2018, when I applied for the Blue Cash Every Day card, that was my first application, right? And then the next card I applied for after that was the Discover It card. Now, I already had a Discover Secured card from 2017 of August to August 2018, but I applied for the one I wanted first, which was the American Express, and I can't tell you, your boy was super excited to get a $7,000 credit limit with American Express. Now, I've had high credit limits in the past, 12000 15,000 this is back when I screwed it up so like it was like whatever like I, I had it in the past but to get that seven thousand dollar credit limit from American Express back in 2018 I was super excited and I made the video and I shared it here on the channel so even though seven thousand to some people is not much for me at that time at that time I had um, I had a Capital One Platinum card, which became my Quicksilver, I'm sorry, which became my Saver card. That card had a $3,000 limit on it, and then I had a Capital One Quicksilver card. Now, that card did have a $7,000 limit on it, but I totally deserved that $7,000 that they eventually gave me, right? Uh, then I had a Chase Freedom card that had a credit limit of, I want to say $500? Yeah, I want to say $500. Then I had a Macy's card of uh, uh, with an $800 limit. So that was it, like th that was it. Um, so yeah, I did have that one card with Capital One with the 7,000 limit, but to get approved for American Express and get a 7,000 limit, I was super excited. So it makes sense to be patient if you can, be patient uh, and, and wait for those inquiries to fall off because you're probably gonna get a higher uh, credit limit in doing so. Giovanni says, what's, what, uh, what it going okay made it to another live <laughs> uh yeah man I, thanks again for that five dollar super chat bro that means a lot to me i really appreciate that uh life with monique, monique says so did i miss this i don't see anything yeah of course okay because i was i was taking forever to start uh you didn't miss anything at all all right let me scroll down here um uh, tyree was saying no it's seven central eight eastern yeah and and that's my fault guys because like i said i i Man, you guys, it's so funny. I'm super duper punctual and super OCD about being punctual. But for some reason, I haven't been insanely punctual with these live streams at 7 o'clock. I'm, I'm laughing about it because I am OCD about punctual. Like, time is super important to me. Uh, and I freak out when people are late, myself included. But you guys wouldn't know that because I've been late several times. And I appreciate you guys a lot. Kassan says, class is running behind schedule tonight. Be patient, credit fam. Man, I appreciate you guys sticking in there. That's so funny. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, Secure Credit Academy. Andy, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, guys, be sure to go to Andy's channel and subscribe to his channel. He talks about credit as well. Very, very smart young man. Be sure to go to his channel, subscribe, click that notification bell. Uh, while you're uh, clicking bells, be sure to click a thumbs up in this video. We have 129 people in here. Please, if you have questions, ask them and also share with the credit family your own experience of how much cash back you've been able to earn or points you've been able to earn using credit cards. I'm just very curious to kind of see what you guys' experience are with that. Uh, Jordan 23 WW says, Dwayne, did you see the revamp coming to the Navy Federal Secure uh, Rewards card starting July 1st? Graduation is possible at three months instead of six. No, I did not. That is really cool. I did not see that. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. Uh, that's very, very cool. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. S House, what's going on, my, my man? Thanks for stopping by. Sneaky25, thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, Jay's Way, thanks for stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Sammy Chicago says hello from Chicago. Sammy, thanks for stopping by, my man. I'm doing the live stream from Houston. Devin, thanks for stopping by. Devin Kemp. Uh, Cinema Madness says, hey, Dwayne, I watched Proud Money's video on how many different uh, credit scores there are out there and how each one is different, potentially making one person uh, have possible 
possibly hundreds of different scores. Wow. Yeah, I saw that video that he, I didn't see the video, that's not true. I got the notification about the video and I was like, Meh. it's so funny, like, I'm subscribed to quite a bit of uh, YouTubers channels and if I'm lucky, I'll get the notification and it's emailed to me, right? But most of the times I'm busy uh, and so I don't watch, I don't end up watching the videos, which is, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But I, yeah, I know that he uploaded that video today and I did not watch it, but that's not a surprise to me. And like, it's just, it's funny because like, no wonder people don't know what's going on with their credit scores because we have so many different types of scoring models and so many different types of scores, which is real stupid. Uh, and then we have people that are promoting, you know, like, hey, check your score with this. And of course, they're telling you to do that so that they can promote their affiliate link or their referral link, right? And you can apply for credit cards. So it's 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 really kind of sad, but um, I'm not stressed out about it. And I guess I'm not stressed out because the same things are gonna hold true to the different scores, right? Like payment history is always important. Credit utilization is always important. Uh, average age of credit, how long you've had credit, what the average age is for you know your credit, uh, that's always going to be important. And then of course you have inquiries or new accounts, and then credit mix. Credit mix, like whatever. But um, yeah, I mean it's going to be the same stuff for the most part. Jay Shy Town says checking in from Shy Town. Everybody smash the thumbs up. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. We only need twelve more thumbs up to get to one hundred thumbs up in this live stream. Once again, if you have questions, please ask. I know I'm insanely behind on the comments, but I will get there as soon as possible. Earl, thank you so much for that $3 super chat, my brother. I really, really appreciate that. It says, happy belated, bro. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping by another stream. Ivan says, what's up, Dwayne? Hope you're doing well. Excited to hear your take on leveraging your credit cards to make money. Um, now, you know what's crazy about like leveraging the credit cards? There's a lot of ways uh, that you can do that. Now, of course, I'm not gonna go into great detail talking about that because I'm really not trying to encourage people to take big risks where they may put themselves in a situation where they can't pay the money back. You know, like currently, I have over $150,000 of available credit. Now, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool to have it, but uh, I'm in a place where I'm responsible and I'm not, I'm never going to say, well, you know what? I'm gonna loan myself 25 Gs and invest in XYZ. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but boy, if it, if it doesn't work out, if you don't have the 25 Gs to begin with and you're leveraging, you know, you're using your credit cards to get access to that 25 Gs, you're you're in a pickle now it's worth the risk right you got to risk big to win big and of course I, clearly i'm doing that in the stock market the stock market is not the place where you put your money if you're scared or you don't want to risk big and the funny thing is i am scared and i don't want to risk big but you know i know that i still have to take a risk so uh so yeah i mean i i would advise if someone's gonna do like you know leverage their credit cards or like access um you know money because of their credit card First of all, never do cash advance, okay? Um, but I, I would just hope that it works out, you know, and I'm not gonna elaborate on how to do that. I personally don't do that, uh, like right now, right? Clearly I could take some more money and throw it at the stock market. You know, I could access the money on my credit cards, but like that would kind of suck if it doesn't work in my favor and then, you know, now I owe $50,000 worth of credit card debt. Um, I have a lot of money in the stock market anyway, so if I can't make it work with that, then clearly I can't make it work. Uh, and I should not because that's I'm just gonna be losing my money. Tyrone, what's going on, my man? Giovanni, thank you again for that five dollar super chat. Says uh, you, the man. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Devin says question as well. I got the Capital One Platinum. When I ask for a product change, I want the Quicksilver. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's a good idea. Um, I think you may want to wait. Uh, possibly a year I think you can actually do like try to do the product change on the uh, online um, now I haven't done it I just hear that you can do it that way but Capital One can be funny um, I know for a fact that like people that should be able to do product changes have contacted Capital One and for whatever reason weren't able to do them it's like wait why they've had this credit card for three years you know why can't they do a product change but I think it's a solid plan and I think it's gonna be a better use of that credit card, the Quicksilver card, once you get a hold of that. Uh, totally gonna butcher your name, so I'm gonna go with last name Taylor. Thanks for stopping by the stream, it's a pleasure to have you here. 
Points blank travel. What's going on, my man? Says, what's up, Dwayne? Glad to be back for another live stream. Much love, my brother. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure to have you in the house. Guys, be sure to go to Points Blank Travel's YouTube channel and subscribe to his channel and click that notification bell. He does videos as well talking about credit cards. So be sure to go by his channel and show him some love and support. J Max says, yep, got the Chase Freedom less than a month ago. With that $200 after spending $500 in three months, I already passed the $500. Dude, that's awesome. First of all, thanks for taking the time to share your experience with cash back. Um, the Chase Freedom, That's uh, I, I like that card a lot. I actually had the Freedom Unlimited initially back in 2017. Um, and then I, I did a product change to the Chase Freedom because I saw that like I can earn more with the five times back. So that's cool, man. Thanks for taking the time to share that. Uh, Sean, thank you for that super chat. It's a, I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much for that $5 super chat, my man. I appreciate that. And thanks for stopping by the live stream. All right, let me scroll back on up here. Yeah, guys, don't forget to please, please, please share your experiences in regards to how much cash back you've been able to get or points using credit cards. I mean, I think this is, uh, this is definitely one of those things that I wish I had known uh, back in the day. But um, I guess I knew it what, back in... I think 2016 is kind of when I really started uh, with the cash back. So better late than never, right? What's going on, D. Anderson? Thanks for stopping by the stream, my brother. Keith, what's going on, my man? It's a pleasure to see you here. Cinemadness says, Dwayne, I'm in love with the idea of passive income and side hustles as I do live. I'm sorry, as I do live in L.A. and I'm 20 years old, looking to make it on my own soon. And credit cards is one way other than a nine to five alone. Uh, dude, man, first of all, LA, man, major kudos and props to you. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do the LA thing. Um, and I, I'm only saying that based on the fact that like I live in Texas and my money goes so much farther here in Texas than it does in LA or New York. Like it pains me when I go to New York and, or Connecticut and I have to spend money and I'm like, man, it's like a dollar fifty for the same orange juice back in Texas. You know, it's like it's like a dollar fifty more, you know, and like that just that's just it just kills me. So major respect to you, man. Keep doing your thing, keep grinding. The good news is that you're young and you have two, three lifetimes to get it right. You know, you may you may learn some stuff here, you may fail, and you may eventually get it right. Now for me personally, there's a lot of things that I did prior to this YouTube channel that primed me for this YouTube channel. So continue to do your thing, man. And maybe by the time you're my age, you know, you'll be balling. I'm not saying I'm balling. Please don't misunderstand. Your boy's not balling, but you can be balling by the time you're my age, man. Major respect to you for that. Craig Max says, I got just got approved for the city premiere, 60,000 points. Uh, or 600 or 4,000 uh, for 4,000 minimum spend. It's for the deck furniture I was buying anyways. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's freaking sweet. Um, I do see that Citibank has some decent sign-up offers. I'm kind of scared to apply for another credit card from Citibank at the moment. Well, I'm not applying for any credit cards um, because I do have six inquiries and also seven, I have like six to seven inquiries across all three bureaus. So I won't be applying for anything. Your boy will be chilling, but Citibank and uh, that particular offer with the City Premier is nice. I think you're gonna have a good time with that card for sure. Uh, Giovanni says, have you applied for the SBA business loans grant? No, sir, I have not. Craig Mack says 19 cards. That's a bit much. Just saying. Yeah, dude, it's too much. Uh, it's definitely too much. Um, as a matter of fact, let me know how many cards you guys have. Let me know in the chat how many credit cards you have, how many credit cards you you want to get. You know what I mean? Like what you think is a good amount of credit cards to have in general. I have 19. It would have been like 24, uh, but I have 19 at the moment. So let me know. Trust me, it's not fun to manage them, but it's really not that big of a deal. You use you if you use each card once a month, you're good. Or once every two months, you're good. Uh, the Shy Town Lock says, "Good job, Dwayne. I'm using two card duo to credit card cycle. Great info. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate that. Wow, we have 150 people in this live stream. Listen, be sure to smash the thumbs up in this video. It helps tremendously. So let's make sure we get the thumbs up smashed." More importantly, if you have questions, 
please don't be shy throw them in the comment section you know say hello let us know if you have questions in the uh, chat we'll definitely do our best to answer your questions mm, let's see here making changes says how do business credit cards work um, they work pretty much like a regular credit card the main difference between business credit cards and personal credit cards would be uh, you may be able to get a substantial um, a, a bigger credit limit on a business credit card you can also use your EIN number for your business credit card applications instead of using your personal social security so you can build like a business credit profile like your business credit score now this is not something that I know a whole lot about because I've really been dragging my feet and taking my time um, I do have a business I do have an EIN number I don't have any vendors accounts I don't have any credit cards at all I just been dragging my feet in regards to business credit uh, and if you do it right like you can get pretty much the cards here on the personal credit card side you can pretty much get most of those cards here on the business credit side as well so you can get even double the pleasure more sign up bonuses more cash back more points and then of course if you have a partner or a spouse you can get more sign up bonuses and points you can really really milk this credit card thing and do it the right way you know I feel like it doesn't make sense for me to get sign up bonuses if I'm gonna have balances on the card and end up paying interest or it doesn't make sense for me to get points or um, cash back if I'm paying interest because I have a balance sitting on that credit card so you definitely want to make sure you do it the right way Shabria thanks for stopping by it's a pleasure to see you here uh, it's the first time seeing you here so it's a pleasure to see you here Mr. Nguyen what's going on my man thanks for stopping by I haven't seen you in a while says just got my discover it's secure card for a thousand dollars what is the best way to maximize a cash back match bonus um, so after you get your first statement from discover card be sure to contact them call them up and ask to change to the 5% cash back category and the reason you're gonna do that is because you're going to get more cash back using the 5% cash back categories than you would getting the 2% on gas and food and 1% on everything else so after you get your first statement with discover card call them uh, the next thing is just to simply use the card I would use the card for every single purchase in your first year with discover card um, because like your 1% purchases is really going to be 2% because they're going to give you uh, they're going to match all the cash back that you get in the first year so if I were you man just use the snot out of that card and you know believe it or not you'll easily earn two to three four hundred dollars of cash back and they'll match so like imagine at the end of your first year and you've gotten six hundred dollars worth of cash back uh, you know let's say you earn three hundred and they match another three hundred six hundred dollars worth of cash back using the discover card I mean that's pretty freaking sweet so if there's something that you wanted to get that maybe you didn't necessarily want to take your hard-earned money and spend it on it you can take your cash back money and feel less guilty about buying it or at least putting money towards it if it's if it's you know more than six hundred dollars you can feel less guilty about taking that cash back money and making that purchase uh what's going on your boy true blue thanks for stopping by the stream it's a pleasure to have you here my man diamond says Dwayne, i'm building my credit and last week um i guess you heard about grain and kickoff signed up for both uh don't have the money for some of additional things at the moment including the navy federal secure card um yeah i mean the thing about building credit is like you know just being patient and and doing it at your own pace now i know that for me and like a lot of other people you know we're instant instant gratification right we're like microwaves inside society you want to get it right now and i do too um but yeah just do your thing you know keep taking the steps forward and you'll get to where you want to be um sooner than later um i i know that you won't get there by not taking action and so i commend you on taking action because uh, a lot of people are waiting for the most perfect and ideal situation before taking action and um, that's funny because I, I can do that and I do that pertaining to certain things if I if I give you um, uh, if I if I'm being totally transparent there are times that like I felt like you know what I don't want to go to the gym because like I'm too self-conscious because I'm so fat right now I'm too fat to go to the gym which is like stupid right number one I'm not fat that's the first thing number two number two um, 
it's the gym you know so like when i go to the gym and i see somebody that's actually fat you know or like severely overweight and i'm like man this person is the bravest person in this entire gym because here they are saying you know what i'm gonna get a hold on this thing i'm i'm gonna grind and i'm gonna get my my stuff together you know and i'm like that person should get all the praise and glory because if i feel self-conscious you know and, and i'm fat which i'm not um you know it's like man like major kudos to that person so yeah i mean just keep doing what you're doing keep taking steps forward you know you're gonna fix it by just being aware like you are right now so that is awesome Cinemadness says I sub to the nerdy, uh, hurdy, hurdy, gurdy travel pack podcast. Uh, uh, it's good. He talks focusing on sign up bonuses rather than categories uh, is where it's at. I'm only at eight months of credit history, though, with three cards. Not at that point yet. OK, I see. Yeah. I mean, Justin is insanely smart, man. He's insanely smart. Craig Mack says, uh, is it really passive or is it just extra savings uh that's funny um uh craig that's a good point man that's a very good point um i think people yeah i i see what you're saying about you know is it really passive right but i guess it depends on what your definition of passive is right so like I, i'll say it's passive in the sense that like you're not killing yourself uh you know and by killing yourself i mean you're not working your nine to five right normally you go to work and if you do physical labor, you know, of course, you're literally killing yourself physically. Um, but yeah, you're not having to make like, you know, tough decisions about it. You basically just use your card, you know. So I feel like in that way, it can be passive because it's less work um, than you would normally have to do to earn a substantial amount of income. So I don't know. That's a good point, though, Craig. I see you. D. Anderson says uh, U.S. Uh, U.S. Bank Cash Plus 2018. Uh I'm assuming that's supposed to be, oh, okay, got it. Okay, you're saying that's your cash back. I was like, is that your credit limit? You know, I was like, what? Okay, so you, you earn $398 with your US Bank Cash Plus in 2018. With your Quicksilver, you earn 152. Your Quicksilver number two, uh, you earn 68. Uh, Navy Federal Cash Rewards, you earn 123. City Double Cash, 76. Discover, so far, 128. Cool, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, um, for me, my numbers are, are up there and it's so funny like um, before this video I, I thought about I was like how much cash back have I earned like how much money have I earned from credit cards and I've heard a, I've earned a substantial amount um, I didn't take the time to write it down but I know for a fact that it's a substantial amount Trey what's going on my man thanks for stopping by the stream Lando's thanks for stop, stopping by and smashing that that uh, thumbs up Trey says sorry I've been MIA uh, but just got into my first house and finished moving. Awesome. Congratulations to you, my man, making big moves. Congratulations to you guys for getting that house, man. I know that's freaking awesome. That's super exciting. Um, cool. I'm, I'm excited for you, bro. That's really, really cool. I definitely remember that feeling. Mikey, thanks for stopping by. Says, Dwayne, I was able to get my Capital One Venture $59 annual fee waive. Awesome. There we go. So I guess you called them up and they were feeling for you about Corona. You know, it's Corona season. Uh, I'm not sure how you got away, but that's really cool. And thanks for coming here and sharing that information, man. That is really awesome. Captain Obvious says, started watching your, uh, started watching you 11 months ago. Score raised by 135 points. So far, you the man. Thank you, Cap Captain Obvious. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, say that those kind words here in the live stream, man. Chrome Republic says, when I can't use my credit card, to gain points or cash <laughs> just hurts i agree man i agree like um yeah i definitely have a complex so i'm going to jamaica next thursday with my dad and i'm like like i know it's it's like i know it's gonna make more sense to have cash in jamaica you know because like we're gonna stop and like eat like food and you know buy food off the streets you know clearly there's not going to be any credit card there's not going to be any credit card transactions there um it's very funny i i don't know i don't know that i've ever eaten at a restaurant in jamaica but i guess i left when i was nine um but it's i don't know i mean we, we cooked a lot i mean when i say restaurant like i mean like a real restaurant not like fast food right not like kfc or anything like that 
Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. So I know I'm gonna be bugging because like I'm not gonna be able to use my credit cards that much. Of course, I can use a credit card to pay for our rooms, you know. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna have to have cash. And then like stuff is super expensive in Jamaica. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how I navigate that. But I have my dad to rely on. He's He's been back home a million times. Ronald, thanks for stopping by. Says happy belated birthday. Uh, checking in from West Philly, born and raised. Is out here, I see you, bro. I appreciate that. Uh, I see you with that Fresh Prince joint. Nisha, thanks for stopping by. Nisha says, help. I had got the Capital One credit card, Discover, and Self. I make my first payment on all this month. What's next? I'm kind of lost. Um, all you do is you just use the card, resp make all your payments on time. Like, that's the first thing. Um, uh, and then in regards to your credit cards, don't use the credit card unless you have the cash in your account to pay your bill. Um, in general, you don't have to wait for your credit card statements to make payments on your account, right? So let's say you use your Capital One card on Monday, you can pay your bill on Wednesday or Thursday. You don't have to wait uh, because sometimes you'll wait and then in waiting, something comes up and the money that you had in your checking account you have to use it for something else. So then you're kind of screwed and then you just pay a portion of the balance instead of paying all the balance. So I would just say practice paying off your credit card bills. Um, you don't have to wait for the statement. You don't have to wait for the due date to pay it off. You can pay it off. You can pay your credit card bills once a week if you want. Uh, and that's a really good way to kind of keep you honest and make sure you're getting a realistic view of what's in your account. Uh, let's see here. Melanie, thank you so much for stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here in the house. We have 155 people watching the stream. If you have not yet smashed a thumbs up, please consider doing so. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for that super chat. Mike, I just checked my cash app. Thank you so much for that $25 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. And thanks for watching, man. That's awesome, bro. I really appreciate that, Mike. Um, Let's see here. Jordan 23 WW says, hey, good stuff, Dwayne. I did six miles this morning, too. You got me rolling with that 40 and fine instead of 40 and fluffy comment. Hey, yeah, man. You know, it's for me, It the exercise is not the problem. Uh, the problem is food. Your boy loves food. Like, um, I exercised pretty aggressively last weekend, but I also ate pretty aggressively. Um, and so... It's always it's always a struggle for me for whatever reason because I like food I'm greedy and uh, a lot of things are centered around food right you're happy food you're sad food you're in between food at least for me right I mean we're not talking about anybody else but that's cool man congratulations to you for doing your thing Mia thanks for stopping by Mia says hello Dwayne and everyone always great information thank you sir Mia thank you ma'am for stopping by it's a pleasure to have you in the house. Um, Devin says, I always, uh, my rewards for things expensive. Okay, I guess you're saying you always use your rewards for things that are expensive. About a year ago, I, I bought uh, $1,400, two in one laptop, and only had to pay about $300 because of about $850 from Best Buy a Visa card and $300 in gift cards. Okay, sweet. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, like for me, I, I like to watch my points accumulate. Like I just I just like it because I like to feel like it's adding up to something big and then I use it for whatever I want. It's almost like when I redeem my cash back or my points, I kind of use it as like throwaway. Like the $1,300 that I got from my uh, Navy Federal flagship card and my cash rewards card, I'm gonna basically be using that money for when I go to Jamaica. Now, I'm only gonna be there, let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back Monday. So I'll be there four days, right? Four days. Now, there's really no reason to spend $1,000 in four days, um, but you know I'll have 1300 So if I want to, I don't have to feel as guilty. I don't have to feel like, man, that $1,300 you know, like came directly from me, even though it did, but it still feels better to feel like I'm just blowing this money. You know, so that's thirteen hundred dollars. That's like that's like my stimulus check. That's like me saying I'm gonna do I'm gonna spend my stimulus check on going to Jamaica or you know paying for things once I get there. So it's freaking awesome. Drew's dude, thanks for stopping by. My man says evening, folks. Hey, Big D, smash that thumbs up, yes sir. 
Captain Obvious states, try the Experian Boost. It's free. It raises my girlfriend's score by 11 uh, instantly, and it's free. It raises mine by one, but it's worth doing for sure. Yeah, I, you know it's funny. Um, I I'm like whatever. I'm not even I'm not even worrying about it. But um, I guess it's cool. And thank you for taking the time to share your experience with it. That's really awesome. Jeremy, thanks for stopping by. My man says, discover it rocks. I agree 1,000%. Uh, Salafio, hope I said that right. Probably didn't. <laughs> thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you. D. Anderson says, strategically applied, that's exactly what I did 2018 and 2019 was straight approvals. Absolutely, man. And that's what I'm saying. Like That's the thing about like, waiting and being patient and letting and allowing all those inquiries to fall off now for someone like me you know like i have this youtube channel and like sometimes i always i can justify applying for a credit card because i have this channel and it's like oh i can make a video oh i can do this but for the average person like yeah you know like you should definitely chill um and i need to chill <laughs> i need to chill so uh, uh i think i shared with you guys last week that i paid off my car loan it was like $2,800 when I paid it off, and I should have paid it off way before then, but I finally pulled the trigger on it, and uh, I'm curious to see what will happen to my credit score once that reports, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. That'll be uh, interesting to see. Captain Obvious says, love me some Discover. Absolutely. Gervais, what's going on? My man says, hey, Dwayne, just want to say thanks. My credit score jumped to 723 since I signed up. Uh, for your program about a year ago. God bless. Thank you for taking the time to say that, sir. And congratulations to you, man. Uh, that is really, really incredible. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have some sad news when it comes to Patreon. They're supposed to be charging uh, sales tax, but it's only going to be for specific states. Now, I don't know off the top of my head what those states are. So some of you guys will be experiencing like uh, sales tax on your payment on Patreon. But uh, dude, I appreciate you taking the time to come here and share your own experience in regards to credit, in regards to you know being with me as an authorized user on one of my cards. So that's incredible. Continue doing what you're doing, man, and uh, God bless you, my brother. Ronald says, if you, your credit card doesn't do a hard pull, how often should you ask for credit increase? Um, great question. So there's no definite answer to that. I mean, for me personally, I think that has a lot to do with how frequently you use the card as well. So if I know that I want to ask for a credit limit increase, I should be using the snot out of that card, showing them that like there's a lot of activity on this card. Um, it's, it's even cooler if you have, let's say, a credit card with a limit of $1,000, but let's say you're using more than $1,000 in a month's time. So you use it, you pay it off, you use it, you pay it off, you use it, you pay it off, and by the time the month is up, you've used $2,000 or $2,500, which I don't know who's going to be doing that, but <laughs> but if you're in that position, I think you, it puts you in a, in a, in a better position light when it comes to requesting a credit limit increase so i would say that if you're using the card a lot it's okay to ask for a credit limit increase after six months now of course people will swear by it i ask for a credit limit increase every six months that doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything that that person does that let's say they do that and they get approved every not, not approved but they get a credit limit increase every six months sweet that's not necessarily going to be your experience so I would say a minimum of six months, right? And then anything after that is good as well. Eight, 10, 12 months before asking for an increase. Um, and then by then, of course, I think you should be considering getting another card anyway, just because there may be another card that you wanna get because the, the sign up bonus is good, or it's a travel credit card or a hotel card. So yeah, that's kind of my answer to that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Nicholas, man, I hope I thanked you for the super chat earlier. I don't think I noticed it. So, hey, I appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much for that $5 super chat, my man. And thanks for stopping by. It says, hey, Dwayne, love your credit advice. Nicholas, I appreciate you stopping by, man. And thanks for the kind words as usual. Uh, Andy says, young man, I'm not that far behind you. You know, it's crazy. I mean, like being 42 is a trip. Like I know that like I'm not insanely young anymore. Um, no, I'm not old either, right? But like, I'm 42, so it's gonna be interesting. Like when I get to 50, 
You know, like I can't say, oh man, I'm young at 50. Well, I guess I'll be young in comparison in comparison to someone that's 100. So my grandma is going to be 95 this year. She was born in 1925. She'll be 95 this year. So I guess I'm young compared to grandma, you know, but grandma's in, she's in a good, she's in a good place. She's good mentally. She's very aware. She writes, she, she you know, she's aware of uh, who you are she's very she's very sharp like I'm so grateful to have her here and have her in that state uh, boss Don P what's going on man thanks for stopping by another stream Julie says hi Dwayne I'm fairly new to your channel but have heard great things about you and all your knowledge Julie thank you so much for stopping by thank you for taking the time to make a comment there are a lot of people that watch these videos and don't comment and that's totally fine so thank you for feeling comfortable and taking the time to make a comment here in such a public way so thanks for stopping by this channel it's a pleasure to have you here if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask um thomas says sup bruv <laughs> that's funny uh that's funny that's that's a that's a london thing uh says 750 since january 2020 wow 750 dude that is nice that's awesome, man. Um, on on one card or several cards? I'm just kind of curious. Earl, thanks again for that $3 super chat. I appreciate you, my man. Captain Obvious says, if you listen to Dwayne, you'll rise fast. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I, I like I like the way that sounds. Ronald says, so far my cash back has been 70 with Capital One and 160 with Discover It. A start, but work. I'm working on it. No, I mean, that's cool, man. Um you know shoot as a matter of fact what is it capital one um yeah i mean if you have that discover card and if it's your first year man i would really focus on that discover card but that is really dope i mean it's all extra money for you know being in the know for being disciplined for being able to use your credit cards and pay them off you know what i mean um i don't know i i just think it's it's hilarious to me um there's a lot of people that i know um, they even know that I have a channel, right? They, they know I have a YouTube channel. And I'm just like, why do you use your debit card? Like, what's up with that? And like, they're responsible financially. And they just use their debit cards for everything. And I'm just like, oh, man, you're playing yourself. But, you know, oh, well, you can't save them all. Um, saw the DPs about the Navy Federal and Rewards um, card this morning. The good news is... The, uh, the very short time to graduate. Bad news is it may graduate only $500. Also, talk that it won't be grandfathered. Okay, I see. Um, yeah, I mean, once again, I didn't know about Somebody brought that to my attention earlier in the chat. But, I mean, three months is really, really cool. Um, you know, if you can graduate in three months. I'm not sure why they, why they even changed that, to be honest with you. But uh, Navy Federal is really good about helping people for the most part anyway. So... I think that's a win. Kassan says the Chase 524 rule is based on total credit cards or combination of installment accounts included. It's really based on credit cards. Um, uh, it's also it's well yeah it's probably based on it's based on credit card and loans right like loans that you acquire not necessarily like a loan that's old right but like let's say if you go get a car loan so I want to say it's based on credit cards and like like an installment loan as well. Basically, where you're getting an inquiry, right? I think it's based on that. If I'm not right, please correct me, somebody in the chat. Uh, Devin says, if you're looking for a credit card, a new YouTube channel, strictly credit cards, Adam from Proud Money, uh, thought uh, of creating a channel for only credit cards. Yeah, I saw that he created that channel. Um, Adam's got several channels. Um, actually, several people have several channels, myself included, but... Uh, I haven't been doing the work on one of my other ones, but oh well. Sean, thanks again for that $5 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. Diamond says, I did the product change with the link for Capital One. There's a few videos on it. Okay, sweet. Thanks for taking the time to share that, uh, Diamond. Ulysses says, hello, Dwayne. Thanks for stopping by, sir. Michael says, just started the credit rebuilding process. Did the 500 secured with Navy. Kind of want to do another one a different company do you recommend and which company should I go with um you could do another one but of course I don't know what your credit score is I don't know how many inquiries you have 
I think it's okay to keep your Navy Federal, do that, keep that card. Before you do anything else, maybe wait like eight months. Uh, but once again, I'm giving this, this, this advice blindly. I don't know what your credit score is. Um, you may want to consider doing this Discover It. You can go to the Discover site and see if you're pre-qualified. Even if you don't qualify for uh, their regular credit cards, it may tell you that you're pre-qualified for the secured card. But I would still wait. Uh, if you can, I would still wait maybe at least six months of having the secured card. Six months minimum, I would wait uh, with the Navy Federal before getting uh, Discover. Wesley, thanks for stopping by. Says, hey, I'm interested in getting the Capital One, the City Double Cash um, card, but I don't have a relationship with the bank. Will that affect me when I'm applying? Uh, it may not necessarily affect you if you don't have a lot of inquiries when you apply. If you don't have at least, if you have two or less inquiries, you should probably be okay. Um, and if your credit score is at least 680, your FICO score is at least 680, 680 you might be okay. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Adrian, what's going on, my man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Star Rose, thanks for stopping by. It's a pleasure to have you in the house again. Cinemadness says, on my first year of having credit cards, April 2019 to April 2020, I only had two cards and one didn't have sign-up bonus, but in my first year, I ended up profiting $234. I see tons of potential. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, man. And that's just the beginning. So that's cool. Kevin says, hey, Dwayne, U.S. Bank has two secured cards, the regular U.S. Bank and the Harley Davidson secured. What you think is better? Um, Dude, off the top of my head, is the Harley Davidson the one where you're able to earn like, you know, five times points on gas? Because that's kind of what I'm thinking off the top of my head um, it, for that secured card. Uh, let's see, U.S. Bank. I'm trying to type it up. Oh my God, my my computer. I'm I'm trying to type it up here, and um, something's wrong with my Chrome browser because it's it always pulls up on Yahoo search engine, and I never use Yahoo search engine at all. Um, okay, this is interesting. Um, I'm trying to maybe I'm not looking at the right card. For the Holly Davidson uh, secure card, maybe I'm not. Let me see. Uh, uh, let's see. U.S. Bank secured card Harley. Let's see. I've got so much crap on my computer screen, guys. Uh, let me share my screen with you guys since you guys are waiting on your boy. Uh, Visa from US Bank secured. Okay, click on that. Eventually, it says earn rewards without great credit. No, I mean, okay, I think here's the deal, right? So, like, I think um, if this makes sense for you as far as like redeeming the points, right? Because I feel like this is going to be geared towards Harley Davidson stuff clearly, right? It's not just going to be just like regular points and, and uh, cash back that, that you're going to get from this. Uh, you earn loans of benefit. Okay, so it says 2,500 points. Um, earn points when you use your card for qualifying. Okay. Yeah, I mean, once again, I think if, if that makes sense for you, then it, it makes sense to get it. Um, but I feel like the other one is just, you know, like a regular, like a regular card. So if it makes sense for you to be using it, uh, for your, for the Holly Davidson situation and the points, then I would say go for it. Um... Devin says, with American Express, I have about forty to 45,000 membership reward points between four charge cards. Sweet. Uh, there you go. Hey, man, you got to start somewhere. Um, dude, I have so many points. It's ridiculous, but it's a good thing. It's a good problem to have. Um, I need to start spending some, but I can't really do a lot of spending with Corona out here. And, and the only reason why I'm going to Jamaica uh, is because, well, my dad's going and he has some property there. And they built some condos on the property. So he's really excited about going to look at that. Um, and then, of course, I wanted to go because my dad's going. And it's cool for me to go with my dad because, you know, he can help me navigate. Hopefully, this is going to be a trip that I will make uh, more in the future. You know, I would hope maybe at least once a year. But I have to, like, really want to do that. So uh, 
hopefully I could I could start doing that Jamaica is insanely beautiful and it's a really really uh, there's a lot of places that I don't know and that I, I need to discover so I'm excited hey if you haven't smashed a thumbs up in this video please consider smashing the thumbs up Dante says hey Dwayne I'm starting over building credit due to a separation I was wondering if you could tell me more about the emblem secured card thanks don't know anything about the emblem secured card my man uh, no idea let me see emblem looking it up secure card um, okay I see it's talking about like credit karma is on here um, <laughs> two out of six I'm sorry 2.6 uh, let me see let me share my screen here real quick um, I don't know anything about this card really uh, let me see going back here Let's see if I can like find it. Okay, I, I'm like losing my patience as far as this is concerned. Let's click on this secure cards. No, maybe no. Let's see. No, that's just a regular blog about secure cards. Let's go with the seven best for bad July 2020. Um, okay, open sky, that one, this one. Okay, sent on there. Um, yeah, first of all, um, I don't know anything about that card, but uh, if it's a secured card that you can get where you're, you know, like kind of almost guaranteed approval, like, like, for example, the open sky card, they don't do credit checks, you know, you're almost guaranteed approval for that particular card. Um, there are a lot of secured cards that you can get if uh, one of the main uh, things when it comes to secured card is getting a secured card that graduates or promotes you to an unsecured card it doesn't make sense to get a secured card that doesn't promote so I don't know anything about that card unfortunately and I don't have the patience and time to, to look it up right now because you know I'm doing a live stream but uh, yeah if the card makes sense for you I would go for it but if the card does not promote you don't get it um, you know unless you're just unless your situation is just that messed up with the credit and you just need something to kind of get started um, okay Ulysses you have zero inquiries at the moment is that what you're saying that would be cool um, or zero cards no nah, I'm not sure what you're saying there Captain Obvious says he has seven cards at the moment D Anderson has 18 cards at the moment points blank travel okay he's talking to D Anderson star Rose says I got one now all right there you go uh, Adrian says I'm thinking about using the margin from Robin Hood dude be careful be be careful um, you know like I, I said earlier in the video like I really am gonna get some education in regards to the stock market I want to do it right um, I want to be insanely smart when it comes to the stock market now there are a lot of different ways to make money and there's a lot of different strategies but I want to try to do it daily if possible um, and I want to just be able to make a bag of money and be able to make the money from wherever I want you know not necessarily have to worry about working for someone one of the things that I've realized recently in in not having my job anymore is that um, I have put up with a lot of things and sometimes I will I'll randomly think about my experiences uh, work related and it's not I'm not I'm not excited about going back to work um, for me going back to work is strictly going to be like um, using that money to pay for the majority of my stuff but more importantly to have insurance health insurance because it's easier for me to have health insurance because I work uh, than for me to have health insurance where I'm going to be paying a million dollars because I'm paying for health insurance by myself. So that's the only thing that's kind of um, that's kind of like, yeah, I, I might go back to work. Otherwise, man, I'm okay. You know, so I, I want to learn how to do the stock market and do it right and be able to be consistent. And I think for me, that's going to be a tall order because I don't like to lose money and 
the stock market part of it when you're doing it right is you cut your losses you know as long as you're more consistent and you're you have more winners than, than losers you're gonna be good so um, yeah good luck to you man be careful with that margin account for sure Trey says about how many Delta Sky Miles points do you need for two round trip to Vegas I have 72 dude dude first of all 72,000 points is a lot right so you got the sign up bonus I'm assuming look at um, Delta use the Delta app and look and see you know trips from Houston to Vegas um, you know I think you should be fine and if you're not fine you're gonna be very close uh, now Delta is Delta can be expensive right with their flights right like we know that Southwest is very cheap especially from Houston to Vegas Southwest is pretty cheap but um, I would say that you know either you're gonna be able to pay for all of it or you're gonna be close now I know for me when I look at like trips from Houston to New York I can fly to New York for like 20,000 bonus miles for 20,000 Delta Sky miles which is a really really good deal and that's non-stop but that's because there's a lot of traffic from uh, there's a lot of traffic into New York you know what I mean like Delta is big in New York um, their little their little wing or gate or whatever you want to call it whatever has a lot of uh, American Express advertisement in it so you may be alright man let me know let me know that'd be kinda cool if you can do that Giovanni says he has two quick silvers Sean says I got 19 cards alright Sean I see you my man Trey has four that's cool um, Brandon thanks for stopping by says garden gang <laughs> yes sir I hear you I definitely need to chill uh, secured credit Academy says 15 last five were the flagship Philip 66 and the three committee SCT cards no HP next one will be my third and final Navy Federal card looking for the more rewards Amex but might go cash due to due to what uh, due to an unexpected large expense okay and could benefit more from cash okay I see that's cool that is cool that is cool um, yeah because the more rewards card I think is a better card right I'm, I'm sure you think so as well but like you said you got a situation S house says he has seven credit cards one store card two AU cards I think I'll go for another three to five cards and then I'm done I think yeah I mean the good news is you got time you know what I mean you got time um, you know I have I have 19 cards and I would have more than that if I were approved you know but um, yeah it's cool I think it's cool uh, clearly 19 is a bit much so you are you are all right my man Jordan 23 WW says I have 12 cards total but four of them are from being an authorized user with my wife all right there you go whatever whatever it takes Adrian says he has five cards or he's saying five cards is good for me now I just uh, just using for paying my bills absolutely absolutely that's the easiest way to rack up points is paying the bills making those payments that you must pay anyway um, just got to 735 not sure what to do next I have Navy Federal three chase cards discover it any advice um well first of all I think you have a nice mix of cards right um, so I think for you right now you know maybe consider getting an American Express card right because you didn't say anything about American Express or you can get you know other Navy Federal cards uh, like the flagship if you don't have that one or other chase cards I don't know which chase cards you have but chase has so many good cards anyway so that's kind of where I would go for you and depending on you know what you're gonna be doing in the future and if the those types of cards appeal to you if you want to get like a airline car with American Express or just get a card where you can get you know points with American Express or another car with Navy Federal I mean you definitely seem like you have the uh, the ability to get approved for those cards you know I don't know how many inquiries you have or anything like that but you know I'm sure you know how those works um, Ronald says I currently have three cards city capital and discover looking to get three more chase Amex and US Bank Wow I see you man hey those three more cards are gonna be good and you'll get them eventually you know just be patient do your thing diamond says kickoff my bad um, that was such a long time ago since I read that comment I don't even remember exactly what you were talking about uh, that's my bad um, okay <laughs> Star Rose says you skinny uh, Star Rose I don't know if you're talking about me or not but your boy's not skinny not a word I would use to describe myself 
I mean, I don't look bad. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm cool. But, yeah. Um, Wesley says, hey, I'm interested in getting the City Double Cash. Okay, yeah, I already answered that. Uh, Kassan says, two hard inquiries with TransUnion, one being installment, zero on Equifax, two inquiries with Experian, one from installment, three slots remaining for a possible Chase card. All right, cool. Very cool. If you already have a relationship with Chase, like a checking account or so, I think you'll have a, a, a hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll have an easy time getting it, and depending on your score as well. Jordan23WW says, I've been collecting reward points with Wells Fargo since 2007. I got 300 for spending 3000 on the Wells Fargo Propel in December 2019. I also got 300 for 1000 spent on the American Express Blue Cash, uh, Blue Cash Preferred in April. Whoa, you got three hundred dollars. That's cool. Um, I think I've only seen like two fifty max for me. Maybe I've seen three hundred, but that is cool, man. Thanks for sharing that information. Um, okay, already read that. Already read that. Already read that. <laughs> Star Rose says, "Tried Jamaican rum, strong. Um, it is. I've never tried Jamaican rum. Uh, I don't drink actually, but." Uh, yeah, Jamaican rum is strong, for sure. Ulysses says, how was your birthday? It was good. It was good. I didn't do anything productive. I just chilled for the most part. Um, I had Chick-fil-A for dinner, <laughs> which is funny. I didn't really want to have anything extravagant, so I just had Chick-fil-A. Um, I bought a couple of shirts the other day uh, from Macy's, which is funny. I don't know why I did that, because I don't really go anywhere. But um, I bought three more shirts, so I'll have three more shirts to hang in my closet in case I want to go somewhere. I'll be ready to go. And it's funny, too, though, because, like, I'm going to Jamaica next week, and I'm not going to be, like, wearing a bunch of nice clothes when I go down there. You know what I mean? Like, that's not something I do, um, especially in Jamaica. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that. That's To some extent, it's almost like painting a target on you. Um, and it, it's probably not that big of a deal, uh, to be honest, but um, I don't I don't need any more attention uh, that I'm already going to get. Mike Jones says, what's up, brother? I finally made it to your stream. I appreciate you stopping by another stream, man. Um, oh, that's cool, man. You say you bank with uh, NF and police and fire credit union in Philly. That is awesome, man. That is really cool. Hey, Seuss, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to have you, my brother. Cinemadness says, hey, Dwayne, I don't know if you've heard about heard about it, but uh, the FIRE movement and the ideas and philosophies behind the FIRE movement are really growing on my SO, are growing on me, financial uh, independence, retire early. Um, no, it tell you what, dude, email me. I don't even know what you're talking about, so email me. That would be really cool. You can email me at helping others prosper at gmail.com. Um, let's see here. Adrian, what's going on, my man? Jamaica, Jamaica, what's going on, my band? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Pleasure, pleasure to have you in the house again. Tim says, yo, 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 happy Monday, credit family. Dwayne, happy belated birthday again, my dude. Yes, sir. Thanks for stopping by, Tim. It's a pleasure to have you in the building. Adrian says, how many bank accounts is too much? How many bank accounts should we have? Um, as far as should we have, basically, I would have any amount of bank accounts that you can have that are free. And then also, if there's like a sign-up bonus attached to that account, it's decent to get that. Most of these uh, accounts, I know like with Chase, you got to have direct deposit. There are other banks where you can have a checking account with them, and if you have a certain amount of money, they'll give you, you know, a certain amount of cash for keeping the money in the bank for 90 days, and I think you got to keep the account open for six months or so. So, I mean, there's really no good answer to that. For me, I I kind of use my accounts with banks a couple of ways. If I'm trying to establish a, a relationship with them so I can get a credit card, I'll get a bank account with them, or if I'm trying to open a bank account to get a sign-up bonus or... Um, or some kind of promotion that they have going on with a, a savings account or a checking account or whatever the account is, if there's a promotion going on and I want to get that easy free money, then I'll do just that. So I really just kind of use the bank accounts to establish the relationship with the banks. Let's say like Citibank, Chase, uh, Bank of America, you know, US Bank, 
basically, if you want to get a credit card from one of those banks, it's not a bad idea to get a bank account with them, especially if they have a checking account. And since Discover now has checking account as well, you may consider doing that with Discover. Um, I don't know if American Express, I don't think American Express has a checking account. I know they have like a savings account. But um, I think with, with Discover and all the other banks that I just stated, it's an okay idea to get an account with them between 14th and today. It hit my credit report. I can't recall any other cards showing up so quickly. Awesome. That is good. Very good. Cinema Madness says one cool ha hack is gold card and platinum card. So that's a very, very good point, man. Uh, let's see here. Life with Monique says, hey, hi, guess what? I got my Navy card today and my credit score went up 40 points. I'm so happy you have this platform. Life with Monique, congratulations to you and thanks for taking the time to make that comment. That is awesome. D Anderson says, August 26, he'll be 47. Hey, D, make sure you remind us so we can wish you a happy birthday, my brother. My son's birthday is two days after that. He will be 18. <laughs> Chambe says, uh, Big D, what's up, bro? More good news to report. I got approved for the Amex Blue Cash Preferred 1000 limit. I have been looking uh, this card because of the 6% or 6% grocery you get back. I was denied four times in the past. Now I'm in. Hey, man, talk about persistence. Dude, you are going on a rip of these credit cards. I know you're supposed to be sitting still because uh, you probably have quite a bit of inquiries, but congratulations on getting that card. That is really cool. Um, I thought about upgrading to that card. They've they've asked me if I wanted to do it, and I'm just like, nah, I don't want to do it. But uh, that's because I already have too many annual fees. Jermar uh, says, can I get a credit card with bad credit? Uh, you can. It just may not necessarily be the card that you want, uh, but like you can consider getting the Open Sky credit card. It's a secured card, and it. Um, it doesn't promote or graduate to anything. So the thing the thing about it is when you get cards that are secure that don't promote or graduate to anything, you're going to have to close it eventually. But if you're just looking to get your foot in the door, that's always a decent option. Um, you know, I don't like to recommend those types of cards. What you could consider doing is maybe getting a relationship with uh, Capital, not Capital One, with Bank of America. Um, and maybe getting a Bank of America secured card. They have a Bank of America uh, secured cash rewards card, which is a solid credit card. Or TD Bank, depending on where you reside. If there's a TD Bank where you are, get an account with TD Bank and then try to get a secure card with them as well. Uh, this may take time. You know, If your credit is bad, just try to be patient and just keep looking forward and keep moving forward. Um, Chad, what's going on, my man? Says, what's good, my brother? I earned 1200 on my Chase Preferred in three months. There we go. That's big money, man. 1200 let's go. Big money. Uh, is there a way, is there any way that I can pay off my credit card debt for free or for very little? Um, I mean, you could try to, um, I guess, settle. You know, like if you owe the credit card companies 15000 you know, they may, you know, instead of paying the 15000 back, they may let you settle the account for, you know, 4000 or $5,000. Um, but it's still going to be on your credit. It's still going to affect you negatively. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, there's no way to do it for free. So I, I, at least I don't know at the top of my head. Mike Jones says, I have the Discover It's Secure card with 1000 credit. How long will it take to get my deposit back? Uh, that just depends. Discover claims that they take a look on the, your entire credit, the credit, the picture of your credit. So it's not just your relationship with Discover card. That was one of the things that I was really frustrated about in my experience. It took me 14 months to be promoted from the secured card with Discover to an unsecured card. So it may take a while. I mean, I know they start to review your accounts after eight months for sure. I wanna say seven, but eight months for sure. So um, I would just, you know, say it's going to take at least a year, but relax, rest assured that you're going to get your money back. I had $2,500 with my Discover It Secure card, so that was tied up for 14 months. So it sucked, but I got my money back. Okay, so don't worry, you're definitely going to get your money back. Um, <laughs> I see you. I see you, Miss Williams. Thank you so much for liking from both of your page as pages, your both of your YouTube channel as usual. I appreciate that. That is freaking awesome. 
That is that is major support. I really, really appreciate that. Luis, what's going on, my man? He says, Houston, we have a problem. How's it going, Dwayne? Happy belated birthday. Thanks for stopping by the stream, man. It's a pleasure to have you in another live stream. My brother. Anthony, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Reed Rich, 301. Thanks for stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here. Don't remember seeing you here before. Uh, says, how to get Navy a Navy card without military affiliation. Um, I don't really, I can't speak much about that. I mean, basically, you have to know somebody that either already is in with Navy Federal, um, you know, to, to kind of get your foot in there. Cinemadness says, Hurdy Gurdy talked in one of his podcasts that extreme couponing is like child's play in comparison to cash back and points on credit card rewards when you stack points with several cash back portals. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that boy Justin is insanely smart. And um, if I had the patience to sit through and listen to some of the podcasts, because for whatever reason, like for me to listen to a podcast, like I need to be driving somewhere, you know, that, that'd that be easier for me to do. Um, and I don't I don't really make drives where I'm just sitting there for a very long time. Um, but yeah, Justin's really, really smart. And I'm sure he has some very, very good points. Um, Mike Jones says, I'm itching for that third credit card. What should I get? I have a Discover It and Amex Blue Cash. Um, honestly, bro, I would really focus on just using that that Discover card for the first year, maximizing that before you get another credit card. And um, as far as what you should get, I mean, you already have American Express. You may consider getting another American Express card. You know they have a bunch to choose from. Or you could definitely um, uh, add Chase in the mix because Chase is a good way to go as well. Um, <laughs> Diamond, she's stupid. She says, who? Mike Jones. That's funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. See, I definitely, trust me, I, when I read his name, I'm like, Mike Jones, you know, and I'm from Houston. So, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Ulysses says, I see a famous rapper in the chat. Yeah, you do. Uh, Chambay says, I call customer service, uh, Navy customer service to activate my new cash reward card. So I asked about secure credit, graduate for my nephew. They say starting July, they review three months. Yeah, okay, awesome. Okay, the secure, secure credit academy says, emblem, secure card, run away. He's saying it's not not, not good uh, good card. Tim says, is the Jamaican border open to non-citizens yet? Um, I don't know, but I'm not going to be traveling back to Jamaica as a Jamaican citizen. Um, well, because, of course, America doesn't have dual citizenship, right? So when I got my citizenship here and my passport, right, like it's a U.S. passport. But that doesn't mean anything. I mean, I was born in Jamaica. My birth certificate's Jamaican. You know, I had two Jamaican passports before getting a U.S. passport. So... You know, by birth, I'm a Jamaican citizen, so I'm not uh, I'm not sure about the non-citizens. I want to say yes, because um, I've seen a couple of videos where people talk about their experience with the airport once they landed in Montego Bay. There are no flights going into Kingston at the moment. So they talked about the experience as far as Corona is concerned, as far as like, you know, inspection and what you can expect to experience flying into Montego Bay. Um, there, I've seen a couple of videos of people talking about it and... Um, one of them for sure I think is definitely American. Uh, it was a couple, it was a black couple. Um, I don't know if they're a husband and wife, but the the husband or the dude was born in Jamaica, but of course he's like me, he doesn't have an accent in his, his everyday talking, but he's Jamaican uh, and I think his wife is American. So they were talking about their experience. So um, I think it may be open to, to everybody to be honest with you. Uh, points blank travel says Dwayne, I'm more points. I'm more of a points guy. 2020 year to date points earning 70,000. Chase ultimate rewards points. 65,000 uh, uh, a advantage point of miles with the American airline. 35,000 American membership reward points. You have me looking at cash back after that 1,300 drop. Um, dude, first of all, that's really good, man. You've gotten all the sign up bonuses. You've gotten those are three awesome sign up bonuses. I mean, uh, that's really, really, really good. Uh, for sure, and those are pretty freaking good bonuses with uh, Chase, American Airline, and Discover Card. I mean, that's basically three tickets right there with those three.
Okay, Devin says, no, the Harley Davidson Secure Card only gives one point per dollar on everything. Only the Harley Davidson Visa signature that I have gives extra rewards. They also have a high performance ver version that is like the secured. Okay, cool. Thanks for clearing that up, Devin. I really appreciate that, man. Okay, Ulysses is saying he has zero cards. That's all right, man. You'll get there. Uh, G Dobbs says, why is it so why is it so hard to get promoted with Capital One? I have two cards with them, and the second I uh, they promote right away. The first I've had two years, and they still haven't promoted it. Well, Capital One is not supposed to be. They supposedly are not promoting any more secured cards. Capital One does not promote their secured credit cards anymore. Um, that started, I want to say, the end of last year, definitely in 2020. Um, I'm not sure what that's about, but that's what it is. You may want to contact them and see if you can do a product change, though. I don't know how that's going to work since you're going to product change from a secured card to an unsecured card, but it's worth a try. Marcus, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here, my man. Um, Secured Credit Academy says my favorite three secured cards is the SDFCU Platinum Secured, HD Visa, even if the points don't make sense, <laughs> and the City Secured, which eventually graduates and can be PC'd to the double cash, product change to the double cash card. Okay, interesting, Andy. You're, those are your three favorite secured cards. Interesting. Uh, of course, I would say I would agree with the City Double Cash. I'm sorry, with the City secured but I would definitely say discover it I would also definitely say uh, the Bank of America cash rewards before and I would also even put the US Bank secured card in there as well but um, but you know that's what having having opinions are about that boy D Anderson says on my Delta Platinum Sky Miles I have 146,000 Sky Miles yeah man I'm up there with you my brother I got a whole bunch of Sky Miles as well um what is this I'm looking at my, I got a, a a weekly alert from my Apple card and it's talking about $67. I'm like, I didn't, I don't think I spent $67 on anything. Um, man, I have a, I have a balance on my Apple card, $228. Anyway, I was supposed to be looking up how many points I had on my Delta Sky Miles, but yeah, D Anderson, bro, 146,000 points. That's a lot. Uh, Trey says, definitely let, let, definitely let know about the points I use when I book okay you let me know about the points okay cool for sure uh, Ulysses says check your email after the live stream I will sir Mel what's going on thanks for stopping by the stream haven't seen you in a while appreciate you and you didn't really miss anything just talking about the different ways you can earn money with with credit cards or make passive income with credit cards and the first way would be with the sign up bonus the second way would be with uh, using your credit cards whether you're earning cash back or points and then the third way would be using your credit card referrals. The fourth way would be kind of using your credit card to leverage like where you access money from your credit card to use it, you know, basically d use it like a loan to, you know, do whatever you need to do uh, with that particular money from the credit card. Now, that's not something that I would tell people to do in general, but that is a way that you can kind of leverage your credit card, your credit card limit and kind of take a loan you know against your credit card and do whatever you need to do with it especially if you don't have to pay any interest on that loan for the first 12 to 15 months um i like money says i always use my points for amex i got 141 free nights wow dude that's a lot i need to redeem some of those nights for me in jamaica <laughs> points blank travel says i have 24 cards i'm beyond done i actually got them so i can do videos for my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I hear you on that. Uh, Carlos says, hey, Dwayne, I was not approved for the Apple Card with a 669 Equifax credit score. What do you think I should do? Uh, hi from Puerto Rico. For Carlos, thanks for watching from Puerto Rico, bro. That's awesome, man. Let's go. Puerto Rico's in the house. America uh, down the road, across the oceans. Let's go, Puerto Rico. That's cool. Um, sorry you weren't approved for that Apple Card, man. Um, I would just that six seven six sixty nine score. Just take your time and and be patient. You know what I mean. Like try to clean up your credit. Your credit. If you if your credit utilization is not between zero and nine percent, I would try to get that there as soon as possible. So if you can jump on someone's card as an authorized user to help you get there, cool. If you you know 
have the time and the money to pay it down to get there, that's gonna help you tremendously. Um, if it's something pertaining to your payment history, if your payment history is not 100%, it's gonna to get to 100% just by paying on time, and it may take a long time to get to 100%. So there's only a couple of things you can do to kind of really bump your score up right in this moment, but just be patient. You know, There'll be days where you'll get whatever credit cards you wanna get. So just keep your head up and keep pushing forward, man. Wasim, thanks for stopping by, says, what is that behind you? Uh, sponge. Sponge. This is spongy. I actually put my white light back here because I didn't like the way my videos were looking. It was kind of like fuzzy to me. It wasn't really clear. I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but it looks clearer to me tonight. Francisco says, what's the best way to establish a relationship with Amex if you don't have a good credit score? Per se, I'm around 640 FICO. Um, one of the best ways, Francisco, to establish a relationship with American Express is to become an authorized user on somebody's American Express card. If you're interested in doing that, you can email me. My email address is helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. Helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. You can email me and I can see what I can do. Um, of course, if you know somebody in your own life that can add you to their card, that would be freaking ideal. I just slapped my email address in the comment section real quick so you can check that out and shoot me an email. I didn't even double check to see if it was right, but hopefully it was right. Oh man. All right, let me scroll up here. What am I looking at? Francisco, okay. Ulysses says, take a lot of pictures. Man, listen, don't get me started on that, man. My freaking iPhone is is busted. The, the majority of the pictures that I would take will probably have to be selfie pictures, which is stupid. That's the only reason why I need a new iPhone. And I'm not going to actually bring a, a camera. I'm not going to be walking around Jamaica with like a camera, camera, looking like a tourist. Nah, I'm not going to be doing that. Even if I wasn't in Jamaica, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, Cinemadness says, uh, Jillian Perkins has um, a great video on 20 plus ways to make passive income and credit card rewards was on there. It frustrates me when people have only one card because they're leaving so much money on the table. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Uh, Kassan says, Dism, I don't know who that is, at points blank travel, you definitely, and the fast lane, okay, gotcha, okay, you're not talking to me, uh, here we go, here we go with the Mike Jones, we out, of, we out of control with this Mike Jones thing, look, Mike Jones, what you starting in here, my brother, Brandon says, I got approved for the Visa Applied Bank Gold Secured Credit Card, it's my first secured card as a primary user. Congratulations, Brandon. That is cool, man. That's actually one of the more decent secured cards out there, even though they don't promote. That's the only complaint is that they don't promote. But congratulations on getting that card. Just take advantage of that. Of that. Use that card to get you to where you want to be. You know, after a couple of years, you'll be in a, in a better position. Luis says, hey, bro, what do you think is better is a better bank? I have a Bank of America right now, but I'm thinking about switching to Chase just to get the 200. But I'm not sure if it's worth it. Come on, bro. It's worth it. It's worth it just because you're going to get the sign-up bonus, okay? Um, and, I mean, having the Bank of America account's good. There's nothing wrong with that account at all. But if you want that easy, to, free $200, I definitely would do it. I mean, it's a no-brainer. You know, even if you take that $200 and do something productive with it, or if you take the $200 and blow it, it's a free $200, and you're going to be establishing your relationship with Chase, which I'm sure you're going to want Chase cards moving forward. Um, I don't know if you have a Bank of America credit card now, but you know, you're definitely going to want to get that relationship with Chase. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Trey says, Dwayne, uh, where, where's my manners? Happy belated birthday, my brother. Hope you, it was a good one. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was, it was great, bro. It was great. Ain't no worries. Devin says, I have about 105,000 miles between Amex and American and United, uh, including a 60,000 sign-up bonus with United. I don't remember if I got the sign-up bonus with American card, but uh, it was converted to U.S. Airways card. Okay, got you. That's cool. That's cool. A lot of points, man. You're going to have some fun when you guys are able to do some traveling. Uh, cool, guys. We have 140 people in the live stream. Man, I really appreciate you guys. It's important if you have questions to ask them in the comment section so I could answer it or somebody else can trust me i don't know all the answers but this community does at least i feel that way so 
Uh, be sure to ask your questions if you have them and I'll do my best to answer it. And consider smashing that thumbs up in this video as it helps the channel tremendously. So thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, Jordan23WW says, I was browsing my FICO forums yesterday and I came across a user with over a million dollars in total credit limits. They had to have had over 60 credit cards on their profile. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, I don't know. I, that's, I don't know if I want to get to that point one day, but... I guess I could, you know, I got a long life. <laughs> Just be getting random credit cards, you know, credit card company ABC, you know, XYZ, you know, that type of thing. But hey, it's possible for sure. Uh, did you hear anything? Uh, did you hear about starting July 1st, Navy Federal? Yeah, I actually heard about that in this live stream, actually, because of my awesome subscribers. Thanks for bringing that up, though. Cinemadness says, I know credit card churning gets a lot more attention, but bank account churning is an easy way to get credit card like bonus to get credit card like bonuses while waiting for them inquiries to fall off. Yes, sir. Agreed. One thousand percent. A lot of people are just I don't want to say lazy, but it's just too much of a hassle for people to move stuff around. And like and I get it like I I like to get the free money, too. But sometimes I'm just like, ugh. Like I don't, it you know, I don't want to open the account. That's what happened with the Pen Fed sign up bonus earlier this year, where they had the twelve hundred dollars, and I think it was you get three hundred dollars back, something like that. And I was just dragging my feet and waited and waited and waited and waited, and then the the sign up offer ended up being taken down, I guess, because so many people responded to it. They took it down early, uh, before they were supposed to take it down, because they said the promotion was supposed to be until June fourteenth, I think, and they took that thing down really, really early. Bub215, thanks for stopping by. My brother says, I use my credit cards for everything. I pay oh, I pay over, I overpay. I can't read. I overpay on them, so I never carry a balance. Is that something you would recommend? Um, people do that. Um, it's not something that I do. Um, I just don't. I don't I don't overpay on it. But I guess if you're going to, you know, use one card and one card mostly, I know that you can you know, kind of do like a prepaid situation on your credit card. I've heard that you can do that with bill pay. Um, I haven't done it, but I have heard people talk about it in the chat. Um, I just pay my cards off, right? So like I'll pay it off, you know, once a week, uh, twice a week if I'm really nerding it out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that works for me, but I think that's fine, man. Thanks for stopping by the stream, bro. And thanks for taking the time to make a comment. I don't remember seeing you in the past. Kassan says, my credit journey took from took me from miserable 486 to a 760 756 since last june 29th with the help of people such as yourself and a few other youtube credit professors i buckled down and took it serious awesome man that's funny uh credit professors man that's cool it says kudos to you my friend kudos to you you did the work man that's freaking awesome bro carlos says hey Dwayne, i was not approved okay i already answered that Paul, what's going on, my brother? Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for stopping by the stream, Paul. Paul says, family or direct military to get in Navy Federal. Yeah, okay, you're answering that young man earlier that was talking about that. Kevin, what's going on, bro? Haven't seen you in a while. Kevin says, evening, Dwayne. Another day, another live stream with a great with great intel. You are my brother. I'm sorry, I can't read. You, my brother, are the truth. Learn a lot since following your page. Keep up the amazing work. 785 FICO and headed to the moon. Let's go. Man, that's awesome, bro. You got a high credit score, man. That's cool, man. Thanks for taking the time to say that. Uh, let's see. All right, D. Anderson, man. Have a good night, bro. Get some rest before you go going to work. I hear you on that. Uh, Cinematic says, good question. I'm just started with with credit at 20 and haven't racked up as many points or car cash bank card but was but what was the biggest redemption you've made uh in one account uh for me so far that would be my discover it's secure card where i was able to earn seventeen hundred eighty eight dollars and fifty five cents the reason why i was able to earn that much too was because of the cash back match um, and also at the time there was something called discover deals where you were able to get um, five percent on things that were not in the five percent cashback category so they had like membership with like nike you can get five percent nike purchases apple stuff like that so there was discover deals and your boy was taking full advantage of it 
$1,788.55. Now, of course, I have um, a lot of, I have more than that worth of points with my Delta Sky Miles. I have more than that worth of points with American Express, my membership reward points. Um, and certainly I've been using my membership reward points little by little. So if I had not used any membership reward points from the, from the time I started getting my American Express card back in 2018, I would have over 500,000 membership reward points right now with American Express easily. But it is all good. Cakeology, what's going on, my brother? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Guys, be sure to go to Cakeology's channel. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. He talks about credit, business credit. He talks about how to brand yourself, how to market, how to get a business, all of that stuff. Be sure to go by Cakeology's channel. Subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Chambe says, Jamaica, Jamaica, welcome to Jamrock. <laughs> welcome to Jamrock. Okay, you're singing. You're doing a Damien Marley thing. Happy early birthday, D. Have a safe trip to the real home. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, my birthday was last week, but I appreciate that, and I'm going to have a good trip. I'm leaving next Thursday, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, G. Dobb says, no, the Capital One cards, they are not secure cards. Okay, one's a Quicksilver, and the other's Quicksilver One with an annual fee okay okay i see wow okay well hopefully you'll be able to do a product change eventually on that second one that you said you haven't been able to change yet uh hopefully just stay patient with them hopefully calvin says what's up bro hope everything is good thanks for stopping by calvin it's a pleasure to have you in the live stream my brother no uh, let's see denise says hi Dwayne. have fun in jamaica i went there on a cruise and did a tour them folk drive crazy there. Yes, we do. Um, I'm super curious. My dad said that we were going to rent a car in Kingston. So we're flying into Montego Bay. Then he's telling me we're going to take a bus from Montego Bay to Kingston, which I was kind of surprised about. But he said he wanted to rent the car in Kingston because he has friends down there. So, of course, he's going to rent from his friend instead of renting in Montego Bay. So I was like, OK, I mean. I was looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to drive down there. That's for sure. Uh, Secure Credit Academy says, should have paid your bill with a Navy Federal card and got the camera repaired. <laughs> 250 coverage and 50 deductible and probably have other cards with much better coverage. Yeah, I definitely should have gotten the camera repaired, but y'all don't hear me when I say that I'm cheap. <laughs> For sure. Devin says, uh, I have about 22,000 points between my Prime American Express and Prime uh, Visa. I don't know if my dollars expire on my Amazon store card since it shows zero. I see. Captain Obvious, thank you so much for the uh, happy belated birthday wish. I appreciate that. Um, Cycle Gamer says, I've been with Navy Federal for about 10 months now with a cash rewards card is now a good time to go for the more cash rewards card depending on your credit score and how many inquiries you have i would say yes if you have more than three inquiries i would consider uh maybe not consider i would i would not be surprised if you're not approved but uh, 10 months is plenty of time and depending on your credit score if you have more than three inquiries i would tell you you know tread lightly on that one Uh, Sin of Madness. No, I have not heard of Mr. Plastic Fantastic, who in 2005 has uh, for basically almost 1,500 credit cards and a 1.7 million credit line, which is insane. Dude, first of all, that's a lot. Of, that's too many credit cards. Like, that's stupid. 1,500 credit cards, and then he only had a million, 1.5 million uh, credit line. I say only because the other guy had a substantial amount less uh, amount of credit cards with a million dollar uh, limit. Uh, Kevin says, I honestly pay my cards off every night or every other night. I treat credit cards like a debit card, but with benefits, the money is leaving my account as fast as I spend it on my cards, always ahead. Yes, sir. Good advice. Well said, period. That it makes th uh, the most sense. That's why I say I pay my credit card bills off at least once a week. Um, just because like I want the most realistic balance that I can have possibly in my checking account. Now, um, you know, back in the day when I, when I was growing up, you know, there were 
people were talking about balancing your checkbook and you know of course we have apps and all kinds of cool stuff for that but you still have to be aware like it's funny to me that sometimes uh, myself included it at a couple of points where I would like think I had more money in the account than I did um, and uh, most of the times especially since I've been over 30 I haven't been in a position or, or, or over 25 I haven't been in a position where like I screwed myself because I thought I had more money and now I got overdraft fees but it really sucks you get you got to be aware of what's going on in your checking account and paying your credit card bills off uh, very frequently will keep you up to date with what your real balance is so Kevin I agree with that comment my brother points blank travel says great stream as always Dwayne enjoyed every minute I got a roll great info take care points blank travel have a good one man thanks for stopping by the stream Devin says, with Navy Federal points, can it be redeemed into your checking or savings account, or is it only a statement credit? Um, I actually did a video on that last week. It can be redeemed into your savings account with Navy Federal, and it, it is pretty freaking quick. Um, I did the video, let's say, about 10 o'clock in the morning, um, and then by 5 o'clock in, in the evening, the money was already in my account. They say that it can take one business day to direct deposit to deposit into your savings account, but it was done the same day for me. So... Yes, sir. Xavier says, what's your thought on PenFed? My thought on PenFed is they're pretty freaking cool. Um, if they have credit cards that make sense for you, go for it. I think PenFed is good. A, a, lot, a lot of people have said positive things about PenFed, so I think they're very good as well. Cycle Gamer says, I was also pre-approved. Thanks for the advice. Awesome. Spurgeon, what's going on, my brother? He said, try using your referral code, but was only getting 60K sign-up offer. Uh, regular and incognito tried it myself and got the 75 offer awesome and you were approved cool all right that's cool congratulations bro you got a 75,000 freaking bonus points uh, on the American Express Platinum dude yeah I mean definitely F the referral link 75,000 points dude I would have been happy to have the 75,000 points when I got the platinum card I'm pretty sure mine was 60,000 points I'm thinking it was 60,000 I don't remember now but that is awesome man that is awesome uh, sweet. Listen, guys, I'm about to end this live stream tonight so I can go eat my dinner properly instead of stuffing my face quickly the way that I did. If you guys have questions, please ask them real quickly in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer it. But other than that, I'm about to wrap this joint up. If you haven't smashed the thumbs up, be sure to smash the thumbs up on the way outside the door. Smash it right now if you haven't already done it. Um, Cinemadness says, in your opinion, as strictly as a solo card, which is better? to you PayPal cashback or Citibank double cash I'm gonna have to say this the PayPal right the reason why I'm gonna say PayPal is because the two percent right off the top right with Citi you get the one percent and then you get the one percent after you pay it you get it when you make the purchase and then you get it when you pay it now one thing to be very careful about with the Citi double cash card is never redeem it as a statement credit redeeming it as a statement credit um, even though you're paying your bill, you're not going to get that 1% when you pay the bill that way. Okay, so if you're going to reuse your, your cash back that you earn with your city double cash card, you want to have that transferred or have it mailed to you. Okay, do not redeem your city double cash card as a statement credit because you're not going to get the 1% for making the payment. You get 1% on your city double cash when you purchase something, you get another 1% when you pay it, except for when you use your uh, cash back. So do not do that for sure. Kassan, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Says another great live stream. Good night, everyone. Spurgeon. Spurgeon says, also, I'm not trying to dis I'm not trying to decide between Chase Sapphire Preferred and City Costco anywhere. It would be for Costco purchases only. Any advice? I'm not trying to decide between Chase Sapphire Preferred or I'm not exactly sure what you're saying, man. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you're saying, my brother. Uh, maybe reword it for me. Uh, I don't know exactly what you're saying. S House says, great live, Dwayne, and advice tonight. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, S House. Devin says, have a nice week. See you on the next stream. Have fun in Jamaica. Dude, listen, guys, I'm leaving for Jamaica next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next one. Not this one coming up. The next one so uh things go well hopefully i'll see you guys here on monday 7 p.m central for another how to build credit tv live stream uh let me see here chambay says all i got 
got to say is you're the best. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you. You're trying to decide between the two, between Shea Sapphire and City Costco? Dude, I feel like the Sapphire is a no-brainer, my brother. I, I mean, I don't I don't even know. I don't really know what perks the City Costco has, but that Sapphire sign-up bonus is real right, and it's a chase card, you know? And I definitely would go with the chase card first. If you want to get the Costco later, cool. Get the chase card first. That's what I would do. Uh, but awesome, man. I'm so glad you got a 75,000 bonus mile sign up offer with that Platinum Car for American Express. That is a really, really good offer, man. All right, guys. That's going to be it for me tonight. I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. When I upload videos, hopefully you get the notification. And uh, hopefully next Monday I'll do a better job starting the live stream at 7 p.m. Central, which is normally the time. Um, I will have a video coming out, of course, this week at some time. Um, so look out for that video. Be sure to jump on it and smash that thumbs up in the video. Smash the thumbs up in this video if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys so much. If you guys don't have any more questions, uh, I'm going to wrap this thing. Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace. Later, guys. Have a wonderful week. See y'all later.